Hello everyone, my name is Ailish Larkin. I'm the librarian at Shannon College of Hotel Management, and um, which is part of NUI Galway. And uh, sorry, I can't be there in person today. Uh, I feel a bit like an actor who um, can't accept their award. <laughs> that was pre-recorded something. But uh, when you all meet up in November, I will hopefully be on maternity leave. So um, thanks to Michelle for inviting me to speak today. And it was because Michelle saw a blog piece that I wrote um, as part of NUI Galway's open series, open voices, open voices series, which was contributions um, and opinions on open scholarship. Um, and I do feel that what I wrote is quite simple, um, but I think it is no harm sometimes to just focus on simple steps that we can all take without being part of uh, maybe a large team or without being awarded funding for a particular project or that. Um, I attended a few of the online sessions of OE Global in September and I was struck um, by some of the speakers um, talking about how open scholarship can seem a little maybe intimidating or complex or impenetrable even when you kind of first hear about it or you know um kind of encounter it and a good few of the sessions that i went to were on um like uh, national and international policies in relation to open scholarship um, and the need for international cooperation and and that which was all very interesting but isn't you know practically really helped me in my library um, and I uh, uh, I do I like the international side too but I also like you know practical steps of what I can actually do so my story then I had a vague notion of what OERs were liked the sound of them kind of they you know ticked a lot of the um, areas of which I would care about which I think all librarians um, probably do um, in that more equal access to high quality resources and hopefully then maybe increasing um, accessibility to third level education. So um, I'm also the treasurer with the Western Regional section of the LAI and we held a summer seminar in Shannon College, I think it was two years ago. Um, and as part of that, we had a World Cafe on Open Scholarship and it was great. Um, so there's lots of chat and uh, you know discussion about it, um, and a few things I suppose made it really good. First, the Western Regional section of the LAI is for all libraries, public, academic, special, whatever, um, and so we had kind of a broad range. People coming from you know all these different libraries. Uh, often the the sessions and in the uh, part of the summer seminar are quite practical. Um, and also there's like no prior knowledge needed, so there's nothing intimidating about it, no stupid questions, you know, so it was a very open chat about open scholarship, it was lovely. So after that, I um, started to kind of talk to colleagues, oh, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, um, about um, OER and the advantages of them. Um, and I suppose it's one of the advantages of being part of a small campus in Shannon College, where I know all of the academic staff um, and it's quite easy, you know, easy to, to talk to them even over a cup of tea and uh, just kind of have a chat about, about where we are. Um, then, right, get to spring, summer 2020 and with the pandemic at large, a lot of my time was spent on finding uh, e-resources for the various business and hospitality modules at Shannon. Um, and so for, you know, a good few of the business modules, it was OK getting um, e-books, although not always. But for the hospitality topics, more niche topics, um, um, you know, often e-book, book, you know, the core texts you're looking for were not available as e-books which is so frustrating. I'm sure you've all encountered it when you know that, you know, the file of that book is somewhere, uh, why it's not available as an ebook. Um, I don't know, but, uh, you know, but it wasn't always uh, possible to get. So around that time, NUI Galway held a webinar um, titled, what was it, OER, OER for Affordability and Accessibility. 
and the National Forum also held one which was creating and sharing OER. So between the two of those, I learned a lot more about OER. Um, I you know, became much more interested in them, kind of thinking like, what can I actually do here? Um, and uh, perhaps the most valuable thing for me was listening to, um, hearing about the, the lectures and students who'd actually used uh, OER, that would have been at the NUI Galway webinar. So hearing the students talk of the about the advantages of them was brilliant. And also then I think like here in the lecture side, I think it was a maths lecture in at NUI Galway who um, edited uh, or adapted OER to put in, you know, Galway specific examples or things that would be relevant to the students. I just thought this was fantastic. Absolutely loved it. So we'd always in Shannon been very conscious of the cost of coming to university for students. Um, but then this was even you know, more of an issue during the pandemic when families um, may have been experiencing financial difficulties and also our students who would be very sought after for part time work, you know, were most, more than likely unable to work. So um, I'm involved in putting together a book list for um, the students. So at that time, you know, I just talked about um, OER and, you know, that it was possible to replace the textbook with an OER, the advantages of that and keeping costs down, of course. Um, also sent on the staff the recording and the slides from the NUI Galway um, OER webinar. It was really good. So then spend some time finding relevant OER for the various modules. And um, so loved that. And a lot of, um, what did I use? OpenStax, Open Textbook Library, Bcampus Open Publishing, uh, Merlot, uh, Lyrics, 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 I think. Um, these had, a lot of them had been mentioned at the webinars I'd attended. Um, so they were great. And uh, the modules that we have at Shannon are, you know, marketing, management, entrepreneurship, uh, human resource management, research methods, then wine, IT, intercultural communication. Um, so there's you know broad range of uh, tourism, yeah, um, of modules, um, and you know for some, I remember for research methods, I think there was loads, loads of OER available. Um, for others, not so many, but I think I found something for every for you know at least one. Um, for every module, which was brilliant, and then sent those on to the relevant lecture. Just you know, sent the link saying, "Okay, these are available. Um, you know, they might be you know might be useful." Um, so that you know that took a bit of time, but that was great. Just kind of finding out what's out there, what's available. So I was very happy that three lectures then added an OER to their reading list. So that's a good start, especially at a time when you know everyone was so busy and you know any extra job was uh you know uh just going to take time or whatever so i was delighted that yet yeah, three lectures did it was really great then was um a, the management lecture for the for first year management for that module the lecture replaced a textbook that students had to buy with an oer so that was brilliant so it was a saving of about 50 euro uh, for every first year student. Um, and uh, I suppose it really um, as well kind of reinforced for me, you know, that lectures saw the value of them or, you know, especially this lecture and, um, you know, was, and knew that the, it was a really high quality resource as well. So I would say that would have been a concern of mine initially, you know, like way back just kind of, oh, could you guarantee the quality of them and what, what were they like? So it's great to have um, this book, ad this OER adopted as a, as a core text. So then from then on, I continue to promote OER and, um, you know, staff know it's something that I care about or, you know, and that can kind of come to me with any questions, queries. I spoke at the end of year review meeting and then at the planning meeting as well. Um, um, spoke uh, you know, just the advantages, what's available, reminded them of what I'd sent to them, said, I'm here if you want to find 
you know, something on a particular um, area, topic, highlight it also when you're on Galway's LibGuide, OER LibGuide, which is really good, and um, AIT, which is now the Thuses, um, they have a really good LibGuide as well on OER, and they have hospitality and business, um, you know, uh, modules as well, so relevant for Shannon College. Also, Nash, the National Forum's excellent as well, using OER for teaching and learning. It's brilliant. So then NUI Galway has press books for open publishing. So I also showed this to staff and had talked about it. <clears throat> and um, again, just to, I suppose, plant the seed that of maybe staff creating their own OER, because I do think that there's great potential in Shannon, because a lot of staff in the past would have created, uh, would have put together booklets um, for their for their module. So um, I would just, you know, said to staff, if it's something you're interested in, to let me know and you know, we can uh, kind of explore this together. Um, I do think this is not the best time, you know, for it at all. Uh, with, you know, everyone just coming back to on campus um, experience and also having to balance with the online and um, everyone's really busy. I'm heading off on maternity leave, but I hope that, you know, maybe uh, we can work on it uh, in the future. <clears throat> I can work with academic staff on it. And one or two lecturers were in touch and had questions and that. So um, hopefully they mull it over. Or maybe I'll come back from maternity leave and they'll have created one. That'd be amazing. Um, but it's uh, um, something that I would be quite keen to work on with staff and um, will, will hopefully happen. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> um, so thanks very much for listening and uh, hope you have a, I hope the rest of the webinar is great. Yeah.